Hi students, in the previous video, I have explained you how to find the inverse of a matrix. Okay, here we have done like this now for 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix. Now, coming to in this video, coming to this video, I am going to explain you some points. Okay, according to inverse of matrix. Okay. So, when is inverse of a matrix given? Only when the absolute of a matrix is not, means determinant of a matrix A is not equal to 0. This is the first point. Okay, students. So, what is the first point? Inverse can be calculated only when determinant of A is not equal to 0. Okay. Next a inverse into a will be equal to a into a inverse and this value we will get an identity matrix identity matrix you know what is identity matrix no we have discussed in the types of matrices if you want you can go to types of matrices video and you can check okay so the next point is a into b whole inverse means multiply a and b and find the inverse for that a into b value okay that is equal to b inverse into a inverse okay students the next point is a transpose a power t means a transpose whole inverse will be equal to a inverse whole transpose okay so the first one is determinant of A should not be equal to 0. Then only we can find the inverse. Otherwise, inverse does not exist. Okay. The second one is A inverse into A is equal to A into A inverse. That is equal to an identity matrix. Okay. So, next three. A into B whole inverse will be equal to B inverse into A inverse. Okay. And next the fourth one, A transpose whole inverse will be equal to A inverse whole transpose. Now let us check all these points whether we will get these or not through a 2 by 2 matrix. Now let us check all these points whether we will get the answers correctly or not by using a 2 by 2 matrix. I am going to take a 2 by 2 matrix and explain all these points for you students. Already first one we have discussed. We will see the second one now. Okay. For this I am going to take a 2 by 2 matrix a okay and its elements are 3 minus 5 0 1 okay these are the elements of a 2 by 2 matrix so what i have to do now the first one over if the value of not equal to 0 then only so the first point we are going to check determinant of a how is determinant of a given so 3 minus 5 0 1 okay so cross multiply and subtract. So 3 into 1 minus of minus 5 into 0. This gives 3 minus 0. The value is 3. So this is not equal to 0. What happens students? So inverse exists. Okay. We can find the value of inverse of A. Okay. What is the next point students? Next point is a inverse into A, okay, A inverse into A is equal to A into A inverse and this will be equal to an identity matrix. Now let us prove this, let us prove this, let us find A inverse. To find A inverse, we have to find cofactor matrix. Cofactor of A will be equal to, okay. Let us check its signs positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay. Okay, students. So, 3, avoiding rows and columns of 3, we will have 1 and its place is positive. Next, 5, sorry, minus 5, avoiding 
its rows and columns we will get 0 so minus 0 means 0 okay we can write simply 0 okay next the element the place of element 0 it is negative negative and the remaining element of adding rows and columns is minus 5 okay next one sorry so the cofactor matrix is given by 1 0 minus of minus 5 is plus 5 3 okay now what we have to do students we have to calculate the adjoint adjoint matrix of a so what is adjoint matrix just a transpose cofactor matrix 1 5 0 3 over so then inverse inverse of a or a inverse that is equal to so how will you get a inverse 1 by what is determinant of a 3 into the answer is 1 5 0 3 okay now what we have to find we got a inverse and we have to multiply with a okay so a inverse into a will be given by 1 by 3 okay 1 5 0 3 into into what is matrix a 3 minus 5 0 1 so i have already explained multiplication of matrices you can check my video multiplication of matrices in my previous videos here i will give a card here so that it will appear here you can click on that and go and check the multiplication of matrices okay so let us do multiplication 1 by 3 into okay first row first column right see i have used the colors now so first row and first column okay 1 into 3 plus 5 into 0 Again, next first row, sorry, second row, first card. Okay, so zero into three plus three into zero. Okay. Now first row, first row, second column, 1 into minus 5 plus 5 into 1. Next second row, second column, 0 into minus 5 plus 3 into 1. Okay students, so now 1 by 3 into so 3 plus 5 how much 3 3 plus 0 3 and minus 5 plus 5 0 and 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 3 is 3 okay now here you take out 1 by 3 into 3 you take out common students Okay, this becomes 1, 0, 0, 1. So, 3, 3 gets cancelled. Okay, this is nothing but our identity matrix. Identity matrix means only the diagonal elements are equal to 1 and remaining all elements are 0. Therefore, we got A inverse into A is equal to an identity matrix. Understood? Now, what we have to check? So, A inverse into A identity matrix we got. We must check now. A into A inverse. Okay. Now let us check A into A inverse. That is equal to what is our matrix A here, students? 3 minus 5, 0, 1. 3 minus 5, 0, 1. We into we have found out already A inverse. Okay. What is A inverse? 1 by 3, 1, 5, 0, 3. So 1 by 3, 1. 503 so take off
that is equal to we'll write 1 by 3 here students so first row first column so 3 into 1 plus minus 5 into 0 okay next second row first column 0 into 1 plus 1 into 0 next students first row second column 3 into 5 plus minus 5 into 3 okay and second row second column 0 into 5 plus 1 into 3 understood students so here this gives 1 by 3 into 3 plus 0 is 3 0 plus 0 is 0 15 3 fives are 15 plus of minus 15 gives 0 and 0 plus 3 gives 0 now take out here again common 3 1 by 3 into 3 if you take here 1 0 0 1 so 3 by 3 gets cancelled this is nothing but our identity matrix so what we got here students we got a into a inverse is equal to an identity matrix okay here a inverse into a also we got identity matrix so finally what can we conclude here Therefore, A inverse of into A will be equal to A inverse into A will be equal to an identity matrix. Did you understand students? So, second point is clear now. Okay. So, this is about second point. What is the third point? A B whole inverse is equal to B inverse into a inverse and A transpose whole inverse is equal to A inverse into A inverse whole transpose. Okay students, so these two we will check in our next video. So today what we have done, first two points we have discussed. That is determinant of A should not be equal to 0, then only inverse exists. And second point is A inverse into A is equal to A into A inverse, A into a inverse into A is equal to A into A inverse that is equal to an identity matrix. This is what we have proved here. Okay. Do carefully students. If you really understand this video, do share to all your friends, students. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.